Good morning, everybody, and happy Easter. Johnny Jans here, and today is a big day because I am at the Walt Disney World Resorts in search of some Easter fun and maybe some hidden Easter eggs. So with that said, let's hop to it and get to some. Hand ring around. So today the plan is to visit some of the Walt Disney World resorts in search of some Easter eggs. They've always had some Easter eggs in the past, so I'm hoping here on Easter Sunday, there's gonna be some Easter eggs. So we're gonna start on the monorail line, head over here to the Grand Floridian, check out that egg, and from there, who knows? And I also wanna explore the bridge that actually connects the Grand Floridian to the Magic Kingdom. Yes, folks, it finally happened. There's finally a bridge where you can do a complete circle all the way to the Magic Kingdom from the Polynesian. And here we are at the good old Grand Floridian. In search of some Easter fun. Amazing, I can't wait. Let's go find some Easter fun. Hope they have the eggs. Maybe they're hiding them. I don't know. <laughs> and there it is. It's almost like an Easter egg hunt indeed. We found our first Easter egg here at the Grand Floridian. And it looks like Humpty Dumpty himself is sitting on the wall. Hopefully he doesn't have a great fall. This is a chocolate sculpture hand decorated by the Grand Floridian Bakery. Wow. So they used to have tons of eggs back in the day, but now it looks like they just have one, but it is a grand one indeed. Okay, so this is strange. I, I just came out these doors to the Grand Floridian side, and there actually is Easter eggs in the lawn. And I don't know why. I don't know if this is gonna be an activity later, but we're not gonna touch it. We're gonna leave them as is. But there are Easter eggs hidden throughout the lawn here. Whoa, check it out. This is exciting. As the monorail overpasses us over there, there is a bridge that connects for the first time ever to the next piece of land from the Grand Floridian. And check out this wonderful walkway bridge. And again, this is just a hop, skip and a jump away from the Grand Floridian right outside. And this path is gonna connect us to the Magic Kingdom. That's right, folks. No longer do you have to stop and take a boat to the Magic Kingdom from the Grand Floridian. You can take this awesome bridge that we are on today. And now we are so close to the Magic Kingdom. This is so cool. Wow. And look, wait for it. It's going to be a monorail. And bam, there it is. Nailed it. And just to give it some perspective, look at the view of this side of the Grand Floridian. First time I've ever saw it from the ground and not from the boat. That is cool. And we started right over there where that bridge is and walked all the way through here. And we're on our way to the Magic Kingdom. Oh, but look what's so exciting. It's another bridge that's gonna get us closer to the Magic Kingdom. This is one long path indeed, but very exciting and it offers some unique views of the monorail look at that there's a view we've never seen before the monorail crossing over the the trench waterway where the electrical pageant comes out and goes into the lagoon you can actually see the electrical pageant just back there docked but that is a cool view of the monorail going over this waterway again Another epic view of the Grand Floridian. This is awesome. Hey, you see these light poles up ahead? That's how you know that we're getting closer to the Magic Kingdom, because they just appeared. These are the same lighting that they use for Main Street USA, and you know you're getting close. This trail is about, I would say about a 10 minute walk from the Grand Floridian over to the Magic Kingdom, so. If you're in a rush to go somewhere, it's probably not the best choice, but if you just want to relax, enjoy the view, or if you're exiting at the end of the night, this path is a great option. Another awesome shot of the monorail coming by from a different perspective. Wow. 
All right, now we are coming to the end of the pathway from the Glen Floridian. That was an epic walk indeed. I really enjoyed it. And here we are. We reached the gates to the Magic Kingdom, the opening of Main Street right here. Wow. And we actually walked for the first time ever to get here. That's amazing. But there were no reservations for Magic Kingdom today to get in. So that's not for me today. Today I'm continuing on to the contemporary in search of more Easter. Check it out. They have facial recognition testing now. Part of that mobile entry experience. They can just zap your face so you can get in to link to your ticket. That's cool, a sign of the future right there. So for those of you who don't know, there's actually a trail that you could walk to the Contemporary, thus almost completing the loop. You can't quite walk all the way back to the Transportation Ticket Center, perhaps one day. But right now you could go from all the way from the Grand Floridian to the Contemporary. This path offers you the chance to see the backside of Space Mountain and just to the right of Space Mountain, oh look, monorail, just to the right of Space Mountain, you can see Tron, the building. And on the left, you can see a little bit of the, the nest-like structure of Tron right there. That is gonna be one epic roller coaster when that's done, whenever that's done. And here we are, we are approaching the end of the path and coming up on the Contemporary. And what a magnificent building the Contemporary is. Always looks awesome. That's why I have a replica underneath my Christmas tree around Christmas time. Although the Contemporary does not have an egg to display, they do have some baskets, which is egg sighting on my egg venture today. These are $100 baskets. Bring your wallet. Just in case you wanted to know, there is a plentiful amount of Easter activities here at the Contemporary, including Easter resort scavenger hunts and courtyard activities. And a movie under stars, Bambi, how spring-like. So as you can see, there is no shortage of Easter activities to do here at the resorts on Easter. You don't even have to go to the parks. But now, I'm actually gonna go to another park or outside the park. We're gonna hop on over to Hollywood Studios and maybe take a ride on the Skyliner and then go over maybe to the Yacht and Beach Club where I hear that there's more eggs to see. So it's gonna be a quite excellent <laughs> egg venture. There we are. On the bus. We're here at Hollywood Studios, but I won't be here for long because it's time to take to the air. We're gonna take a ride on the Skyliner and head to our next re resort in search of Eastery things. All right, so we are in the Skyliner. I got a clear one. That's a tip for you. If you're gonna ride the Skyliner, don't hesitate to request if they're not that busy for a clear Skyliner, a clear cabin, because you just get an epic view along the way. And here we are coming into the station now. I can just see it beyond the ears there. A bit of bunny. So here at Caribbean Beach to celebrate Easter, they have an Easter scavenger hunt around the resort. So we're gonna give it a shot and see how we do. It starts with these little riddles as if the first one, this is where you arrive and you have to find a rabbit who is always in overdrive. And there we go, the bunny we're looking for. There's Judy Hopps hidden on Easter egg. Okay, on to our next clue. This character turned into a successful baker making pies with his flavor cranberry and apple. You can find him by the fountain shaped like a pineapple. <gasps> I think it's over there. Check it out, Little Jams just found it. Where is it? Right there, there's that little fox. A successful baker located right next to the Pineapple Fountain here in Centertown. The 
last one on this wonderful Easter scavenger hunt for Zootopia. This father was concerned that Judy being a cop wasn't a good fit. You can find him near the campfire pit. Let's go to the campfire pit, y'all. And located just east of the lighthouse tower, down here is the campfire pit and hopefully our last egg on this egg sighting extravagant mission. And I think I see it right in the chair. There's something sitting in the chair. What could it be? Why, it's our last egg. We found it. Here it is. Just relaxing by the fire pit. There's that bunny. So check out, <laughs> check out this, it's pretty cool. They gave us a bunch of Skyliner pins and a big bag of candy. Little Jens has already started into it. How is it, good? Hope there's some chocolate in there. Baby Jans is getting some too. This was a big Easter indeed. I loved it. Go Caribbean Beach. Go Easter. It was egg sighting and egg extravagant and other egg puns. When you're here in the Caribbean, you might want to tie one on with the little Mai Tai. And that's what I got here. The Caribbean Mai Tai. I'm going to enjoy my Mai Tai. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Woo. That's strong, but good. And alas, here we are at Disney's Beach Club Resort. And guess what? I found the eggs. And here they are, the eggs. Starting off, we have a Dumbo egg. Check it out. These are all chocolate, by the way. So they say. And they got peanuts on the bottom. This is an awesome egg. Look at this, the fox and the hound. It's a classic movie. You can see the bear right up there. Cowering in the background. And here we have Tiana egg. Look at that, Princess and the Frog. <gasps> but look at this amazing Ariel egg, wow. It's the whole kiss the girl scene right there. That is amazing. Those are some four fantastic eggs. Oh, real quick before I leave, I just noticed on the back of the egg, you have Ursula just looking menacing on the back of that egg. Wow. Feeling pretty hungry, so I ended up here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge where I'm gonna go and check out Guys at Point, right here. This place is one of the coolest places to grab a bite to eat. I mean, look at the view out in front of me, how epic that lake is. It's nice and calm, breeze coming in. And I got these awesome comfy chairs I'm sitting in, and I'm about to get me a bison burger, which I heard so much good things about. Uh, prior so I'm gonna try that and I think this is a great way to end my Easter so happy Easter all and there it is my bison burger has arrived and it looks delicious I just took a bite of my bison burger it was hard to get in there because it's just so ginormous but it was really good and the sauce makes it taste even better so I definitely do recommend if you come to Geyser Point Get a bison burger, it's good. Well, there it is. We had a big day today here at Disney for Easter where we did so many things. We saw the egg decorations at the resorts. We did the awesome egg scavenger hunt and we took that fun path from the Grand Floridian over to the Magic Kingdom, topping it all off with dinner here at Geyser Point. So that was just amazing. So to everyone at home, I wanna say, Happy Easter from Johnny Jans, and until next time, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around! I always like this display outside the gift shop here at the Grand Floridian. It's a moving display, and every once in a while, you see a fish! I think that's the only thing that moves. Well, the airplane's moving from side to side. And what a surprise, it's a commercial for Disney Vacation Club.
Welcome home.